now we walk with Jesus on his way to Calvary. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. Do I go along with the crowd instead of standing up for what I believe in? When do I let others control my thinking because I want to be their friend? Would I have joined the crowd condemning Jesus? Lord, there were so many people willing to believe the lies that were told about you, and many people went along with the lies. Give me the strength to stand up for what I believe in. Please forgive me when I don't do what I know is right and I go along with the crowd. I'm sorry for the times when I have hurt others because of this. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. Jesus knew that he was not guilty of any crime, but he accepted the heavy cross and carried it to show how much he loved him. Help me to remember how much love it takes to care for someone. 
Give me understanding when those who take care of me try to shield me from getting hurt. Help me see their love. Teach me to love this deeply too. The fifth station, Simon helps to carry Jesus across. Hey you, help this so-called side carry Jesus across. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah, you. Get up and help him. Now. Simon did not really want to help, but he did anyway. How many times have we refused to help others? Let us remember Jesus as our example for the next time. Jesus, you accepted help when things were tough. How willing am I to let others help me? Do I see needing help as a sign of weakness? I can't go through life alone. I have to let people help me along the way, even people whom I don't know very well. Let me be strong in my weakness by trusting the hand that reaches out to me. A sensation of Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. A woman named Veronica, seeing the sweat of blood on Jesus' face, gently wiped it with the robe that she was wearing. A miracle happened. The image of Jesus' face appeared on the veil. It's a miracle! And show it. I wonder where Hunter is in my life. Have I seen him? How willing am I to be around and go to those who are struggling? Jesus, help me to be willing to take the risk of helping someone who needs it. When I see someone struggling, give me the courage to help them in any way I can, even if it means being a very The crowds of people pushed and pulled at Jesus to make him get up and keep going. Jesus stood up and began to walk again.
decided to help Abraham's friend to continue on. It would have been so easy for you to give up here. Instead, you instead you got up again. Sometimes I feel like giving up too. I know that the good news is you are always with me, and you keep reminding me about the people who have helped me. Thank you for keeping them in my life. With them, I'll never give up. The temptation in Jesus is stripped of his clothes. Jesus came to the top of the hill. The soldiers took the cross from Jesus and tore his clothes from his body. stood in front of the crowd of people, laughing at him, ready to die on the cross. <laughs> Embarrassment added to the pain. How do I react when others disrespect me? How many times have I been picked on? Handling tough times is hard enough, but to have someone make fun of me on top of that, that is too much. Lord, even when they stripped you of your dignity, they couldn't take away the one thing that kept you going, your love for us. Help me to carry your love and respect on the inside and to show that love and respect on the outside. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. As Jesus hung on the cross, the crowd began to taunt him. Forgive them, how could you say that? Am I forgiving of those who hurt me? Jesus, I am amazed at how you always forgive people, no matter how much they hurt you. Were you aware of the pain you were going through? Of course you were. Help me to learn your willingness to forgive those who hurt me. The twelfth station, Jesus died on the cross. Please kneel for silent reflection.
No one could give more. Could I live like this if my life were on the line for my friends? Jesus, you stuck with this until the bitter end. You went through pain and suffering beyond what I can imagine. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your all for me, for all of us. When I'm in pain, you will be my example in helping me get through it. I want to be totally committed to loving others. Give me the courage to look like you, no matter what the cost. The 13th station, Jesus is your roof for the cross. After Jesus died, his friend Joseph took the body onto the cross. Joseph was very sad as he wiped away the blood and cleaned the cracks that covered the body of Jesus. Then he prepared the body for burial. Now your really broken body is taken down from the cross and laid in Mary's arms. I can almost hear her sobbing as she held him for the last time. How do I deal with the loss or death of someone I love? Have I ever finished grieving for the loss of my friend? Have I ever got over the have I ever got over, gotten over the loss of someone leaving? Jesus, the feelings you give me are good. Help me learn to be in touch with my feelings and deal with them in an honest and healthy way. When I've lost someone or something and I feel sad or angry, please help me understand the sadness, the anger, the disbelief that those who loved you must have felt when they held you that final time. The 14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. Joseph took the body of Jesus and laid it in the tomb that had been carved into a wood wall. Then Joseph went to work, standing in front of the tomb opening and sadly walked home. Jesus was buried. Soldiers were placed at the entrance of the tomb. Jesus, you walked and died on this way of the cross because you loved me more than life itself. Your body was weakened, bruised, and broken for me. You were laid in a tomb, but even death could not enter life. Your death and your resurrection give me hope and belief that I too can deal with anything that life hands me, just as long as you and I share the cross together. I do not stand alone. I know that there is a spirit that lives within me and in those around me. Now I am your body here on earth. My arms are your arms reaching out to others. Remembering the way you went to the cross gives me enough hope to get back up after I fall. And the realization that as I walk my own way, you and others give me strength and walk it with me. Thank you for joining us in the Living Stations. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.